There are a lot of important series in Major League Baseball this week. I'm here to help you bet on them. Five free plays coming up for you on Tuesday. Went just two and two on the show yesterday. Uh, We also gave you an early look for college football Saturday. But a slight profit thanks to the Giants, who closed around plus 165 coming through. Now a 95-66-5 and five run with the Power 5. Go ahead and smash that like button if you've been enjoying all these free winners. Let's get it started for Tuesday now. As a reminder, go ahead and comment down below with your thoughts on any of these selections or questions or whatever you may have. All right, number one, Blue Jays' first five run line versus the Red Sox should be around minus 105 to lay the half run in the first five here. Obviously, Toronto was not a good bet on the show yesterday. They didn't score until the bottom of the ninth. That was a double whammy for me uh, because I also had over 7.5 as a 2% client play. But tonight, we likely will not need much offense because Bowden Francis is back on the bump for the Jays. In case you've been living under a rock, Francis has been nothing short of sensational since being made a fixture in the Jays' starting rotation. Seven consecutive quality starts by the right-hander. During that time, there have been two occasions where Francis took a no-hitter into the ninth inning. He's allowed five hits or fewer in six of those last seven starts. Four of those seven starts, he's allowed just one hit while going seven or more innings. So yeah, think we're in pretty good shape back in Francis and Toronto in the first five tonight. Home team should get a lead off Brian Bayo, who has a 5.58 ERA in eight career starts versus Toronto. Boston's bullpen has been the worst in baseball since July 1st, but Toronto's hasn't been much better. So let's just focus on Francis in the first five in this one, 707 Eastern. Number two, big series when it comes to the NL wild card down in Atlanta where the Braves host the Mets. I'm back in the home team in tonight's series opener. Full game should be around minus 145 as the Braves have already taken some early money and for good reason because we love Spencer Schwellenbach on this show going all the way back. To July 27th, Schwellenbach has allowed three earned runs or less in 10 consecutive starts. Now, there was one against the Blue Jays earlier this month where he gave up six runs, but three of those were unearned. Other than that, it's three runs or less overall every time out. His lone career appearance against the Mets was a great one. Back on July 27th, when this run started for Schwellenbach, he tossed seven shutout innings and finished with a career-high 11 strikeouts. Cannot stress how important this game and series are to the Braves. They currently trail the Mets by two games and the D-backs by one and a half games in the race for the final two wildcard spots in the National League. Let me know down in the comments section which of two of those three teams, Braves, Mets, and D-backs, you think will get into the postseason. Again, I think the Braves take tonight's series opener, 740 Eastern. Number three, let's play a total on Tuesday. This is absolutely not an important game when it comes to the playoff picture as we've got the two worst teams in the American League facing off. But give me the over eight in Angels White Sox. Would play this up to eight and a half. The White Sox would need to win out in order to avoid setting a new record for most losses in a season. That is obviously not going to happen. But I look for them to at least swing the bats well tonight against Jack Kohanowitz who has a 6-1-0 ERA in non-daytime starts, and an Angels bullpen not very good either. Of course, the White Sox also figure to give up their fair share of runs tonight. Jonathan Cannon will be on the mound. He hasn't been all that bad at home this season, but he's allowed four or more runs in four of his last six starts overall. Then you have to remember just how dreadful this White Sox bullpen has been. 23 times this season, the White Sox have lost a game when leading after six innings. 36 blown saves. So there should be runs both early and late in this one. Take the over in Angels White Sox at 740 Eastern. Again, we'll play that up to eight and a half. Number four, another game with no playoff implications. Sorry, hey, the money's still green uh, no matter which game you are betting on. But Cardinals Rockies is the next one I want to talk about. Ryan Feltner on the mound for the Rockies, and that's why we want to bet this game Absolutely love what Feltner has been doing since returning from injury. Team is 5-0 and his last five starts. Feltner's allowed two runs or fewer in four of those five starts. Go back further. Feltner's allowed three runs or less in 10 of his 12 previous starts. Nice to see him getting the results he deserved after a tough stretch in the middle of the season tonight. 
I certainly give Feltner the edge over Michael McGreevy, who makes just his second start of the season for the Cardinals. McGreevy did win his big league debut, but that was all the way back on July 31st. He was quickly optioned back uh, to AAA after that. This will be his first time pitching on the road in the big leagues, and it comes in arguably the toughest environment in all of baseball, the thin air of Coors Field. Said it many times before on this show, and the Morning Wager, and any other show I appear on here on the Wager Talk uh, YouTube channel when it comes to talking baseball. St. Louis has been a total fraud this season in terms of wins and losses. They've been outscored by 59 runs, but they're 79 and 77 thanks to a National League high 29 one run victories. They lose tonight in Colorado, 840 Eastern start in Denver. One more pick still to come. It is going to be on the big showdown in the NL West between the Padres and Dodgers. But first, I wanted to let you all know that since it's Tuesday, that means you can get a play for me for only $5 at wagertalk.com. And this week, it's going to be a 4% best bet in college football for Saturday. Last Saturday, I obviously won my first 5% max bet of the CFB season with Texas Tech taking care of business against Arizona State. So you don't want to miss out on another opportunity to win big this Saturday. Oh, by the way, that Texas Tech pick, I gave it out to my clients at minus three. It wound up closing much higher. The line moved several points. So that's another reason to get down early. Uh, I'll have more info on my football run after the Padres Dodgers pick. But once again, only $5 for a 4% best bet in college football Saturday. Today only. WT.buzz slash BP. You won't be able to get the pick for $5 after midnight tonight. Okay, around midnight Eastern is when this bet should be cashing. And it's our fifth play in the Power Five. Dodgers first five versus the Padres. Obviously, a critical series in the NL West where LA leads San Diego by three games. So winning this series would give the Dodgers the pennant. Now, the Padres are already assured of winning the season series against their division rival, but they've yet to face Landon Knack, who will be starting tonight for LA. Knack has allowed two runs or less in 10 of his 13 starts this season. That includes five shutout innings his last time out. I know it was against Miami. I know the Padres have won 40 of their last 56 games. But how often can you bet the Dodgers at home at this price? Only minus 125 on the first five money line here. And in case of a tie, our bet would push. So that's a nice uh, little bit of insurance to have. Too good to pass up for me. Oh, yeah. We've got that Otani guy on our side as well. Over his last seven games, Otani, six home runs, seven steals, 11 runs scored, 17 RBIs, and a 1.668 OPS. Just ridiculous. So let's go ahead and recap the Power Five now, shall we, for Tuesday. Number one, Blue Jays, first five run line versus the Red Sox. Minus 105 to lay the half run there. Number two, Atlanta, minus 145, full game against the Mets. Number three, Angels, White Sox, over. Would play that up to eight and a half. Number four, Rockies on the money line. They're a small underdog around plus 110 against the Cardinals. I think that line's going to flip and they're going to go off as the favorite. Number five, Dodgers, first five money line, around minus 125 versus the Padres. Again, feel free to leave any comments, questions, or thoughts down below on today's Power 5. You can feel free to drop your favorite bets for Tuesday as well. A reminder, you can get that 4% best bet in college football from me for Saturday. Right now, just $5. That's today only. WT.buzz slash BP. Now, it was an 0-2 Monday for yours truly with a couple 2% losses. Already mentioned losing the over on Red Sox Blue Jays, but far more frustrating was the Bengals, who I had teased down to minus one and a half, and they don't get the job done. They lose outright. First leg of that teaser was Eagles plus eight and a half, which did get it done. Obviously, the Eagles won outright, so wish I would have just played the Eagles, left the Bengals off the card. Those are the breaks. Uh, I was a perfect 6-0 in NFL the last two weeks before last night's loss. Still number one in football at Wager Talk this season hitting a combined 68% in NFL and college. So in addition to picking up that play for $5 today, probably also a good time to lock in with a subscription. And wouldn't you know, if you buy a three-month all-access pass right now at wagertalk.com, we'll throw in an additional fourth month of service free of charge. That's an instant $299 savings, guys. So you're getting 120 days, 120 days worth of plays at less than $49 per week, and $7 per day. Massive savings there. Just head on over again, wt.buzz slash BP, and subscribe today. 
All right, that does it for today, Tuesday's edition of The Power Five. Again, go ahead and smash that like button if you already haven't done that. Always appreciate your support. And make sure you're subscribed to the Wager Talk YouTube channels. I not only have you covered daily with The Power Five, but every Monday through Friday, Mark Zinno and myself do the morning wager. Until next time, guys, let's catch some tickets.